Hi guys, you saw the great again, and today I'm coming for a tutorial video on redstone randomizers. So first off, I want to start by giving out some credits. Uh, this is a design that PVPone39 and I've been working on, and it took us a long time to actually figure it out, or at least a problem with it. We had to figure out a way to get it to reset, and we couldn't figure out a way to do that for the longest time, but I finally figured one out. But let me go ahead and say that there was some controversy on my old video about the fact that maybe PVPone39 had copied someone else's idea for the redstone bud switch activated or lock. So I just want to go ahead and say that if we accidentally copied this from you then please just leave a comment with a link to a video and I will check it out and if you being truthful then I will put an edit in the description with your name in it. So that being out of the way let's go ahead and show some of the things that this thing can do. So first if I hit the randomize button you see two, three, and five are on. And then I can come over here and hit reset. And then if I hit it again now only one and two are on. One more time. And now one, four, and five are on. So this is how it works. I'm not sure if it looks complicated like usual, but it's really not that complicated. The only thing that you'll need to know is this little circuit right here that you see just tiled. Well, not necessarily tiled, but just together. That's the actual randomizer circuit. And I'll show you how to build that uh, right now. So the way that this works is that when a dispenser is powered if it has blocks in there that are not the same such as this grass block and a fire charge it'll randomize which one it shoots out every time it's powered so it may shoot out a fire charge one and then a fire charge two and then a grass block and then a fire charge and then two grass blocks and so on and so on it'll be random so that's the way that the random part of the randomizer works. Now it does, again, I will say, if we accidentally copied it from you, please say in the description. But it's, or in the comments rather. But it uses bud switches. That basically, every time that it shoots a fire charge, there will be an output and every time it shoots something else it will not be so I was talking while I did that but if you saw I just put another rack one diagonal down in front of the dispensers and then I put sticky pistons facing up towards the nether rack then I went out two uh, one down diagonally from the dispensers now you can just put torches on these and then repeaters facing into a block and then put torches on those blocks and then the torches will go into more blocks so leave that for now just go up diagonal back towards the dispensers one block and then just place sticky pistons facing downwards just like that so from here you can place a block on the sticky pistons place a torch on the diagonal block up there and then finally just place redstone dust on the blocks right above the torches so again you can see that every time it's a fire charge there'll be a pulse and every time it was a grass block like right here nothing happened 
So you can do one of two things with this. For one thing, you can simply make it just a pulse. You can make it as long as you want it to, but you'll definitely need a few repeaters because the pulse is so short. Just like that. And now it'll pulse when it's activated. But you may want it to be a T flip flop design, just like this one over here. This makes it a little more complicated, but not too much more. So from here, you just place a block on top of the torch, and one on top of the redstone dust. And then one, uh, leave a space, and then put another one on top of the block that was on top of the redstone dust. And then just go out one more on the bottom one. From here, you place redstone on the block above the torch and the one diagonally above it. And then the one on the jutted out block. Finally, you'll just place a repeater on three. And then torches on the end. So now you just made a monostable circuit. So you can just place a piston with a block on it, and then two blocks down, and put a torch on it. Then one up, and you have an output. But from here, you're going to want a reset line. You don't have to have a reset line, but let me show you what happens if you don't use one. Once I randomize it, one time. As you can see, number three is on, and then when I randomize it again, three actually was randomized again, and that turned it off. If I hit the reset button, then it would have been two, three, four, and five instead of just two, four, and five. So a reset line is sometimes useful for whatever you're building. You may not need one but sometimes you may want one. So to do that, you just go up diagonally one block and then place glowstone above the redstone dust and then blocks right there. And you can just place dust and then you'll actually want to switch that out for a repeater, just like that. And they'll build four blocks up knock out the very bottom one and the second one from the top place a sticky piston facing down and then supply this block with some kind of power so for now you can just use the button or like over there you can just run redstone dust along the top of it and attach it to a button somewhere else so from here I can power it Now, as you can see, this one, the one that had the pulse on it, was powered, and it just sent the pulse. Now, this one right here activated, as you saw, and that made the monostable circuit fire, and it spat the block out on top of the torch. So now you can actually take an output from here, and then when you need to reset it, you just press a button, or run redstone dust along the top and it'll automatically reset it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. And again, if you invented this design and we accidentally copied you, please just leave it in the comments with a link to the, your video. I'll check it out and I will add a edit in the description. So thank you guys so much again. Please subscribe to PVPone39. He, he actually made the randomizer part right here, the little bud switch, and then I was the one that did the monostable circuit and reset line. So, with all that being said, I will see you next time. Thank you.